take care of that. Good, good. So, the inspiration for this one came from yesterday. I was out with uh, cousin, cousin Jordan, great guy. And um, we were just, uh, what were we doing? We had to ride the train, transit system a couple of times. One of the things I had been, uh, I picked up on, it just picked up on, like picked up, was a great idea, quote, something that I value highly. And, um, gosh, I wish I had it before me. I probably do. Give me one second. Charges all over this place. Here it is. Cherish some man of high character and keep him ever before your eyes. Living watching you and ordering your actions as if he be You see that? You hear that? You be that? That is something of high value. I know that the person of high character is me. If I always keep me before me, myself, watching myself, I know I'll always be the man that I have the capability and the potential to be. And that means, how do I carry myself? How do I walk in a room? How am I sitting? How am I presenting myself? What is it that I'm giving off as I'm in public, surrounded by public people or people I don't know, or when I'm surrounded by people I do know, or do to know, making introductions with, and I have to conduct myself accordingly. It's always, it's always a great way to hold myself when I have my ideal self of a, of a man of high character before me. Because when I cherish me, when I cherish what I've done, what I've gone through, who I've become, I know that I am high character. I know what a high character person can do, not just in a small moment in time, but in all moments in time what type of space they take up in, in the room, in the environment, in nature. It's so amazing to say that. Like, as a man, other men look towards you for leadership. I don't know if they can see it in the body language, your facial expressions, your, the way you hold your head, if it's not like tilted to the side or something, the way you hold your stance, they'll look to you uh, subconsciously through their body language as your opinion on this. What would you do if you were in my shoes? That's so needed. We in the black community need to give each other the respect of a man that a man may not get other places. Simple shit. It ain't even gotta be two words. It's just a nod, a little bit of eye contact, a gruff, 
something, something where it just it's acknowledged. They know it, you know it, they know it. Move on, never to see them again. That's it. And that's what a high character man does. He can bring other people around him higher. He attracts the people around him to a higher character than what they may have been. Specifically, certain situations present themselves to men of high character because only men of high character have the capabilities, the skills, the awareness, the wherewithal to hold these things, to balance them on their plate, and not and feel like it's just feel like it's just a knapsack a book bag's worth of problems not problems but not a burden and when it's not a burden, it's light, lightweight. So, that being said, you know a man of high character. It's you. Keep you ever before your eyes. Walk in a certain way. You know, you like to hold your arms the way you sit in a chair in a certain way. And certain, like when you go on autopilot, and everyone goes on autopilot, other people can tell that, oh, this is someone I need to pay attention to, just the way they're holding themselves. And that will get you closer and closer towards your ideal lifestyle, where you want to be, who you want to be associated with, who you want to be talking to, what friends do you want to have. That one should have really came before but what friends do you want to have, that you need to have, what social circles do you want to have? What culture are you developing? And as your culture develops, you'll have the people there to be inside the culture. As a man of high character, they'll look to you for leadership. No question, as a man of high character, you're the visionary. You're the one constructing the other characters who take your life and occupy it. It's easy. Of course, this quote, this is a good quote. This is something that I put over my door, in my house, in my office, bedroom, so I can always just remind myself who I am. Not who I am, but whom I'm becoming at all times. Keep him ever before your eyes. The world is always shifting. There is no homeostasis. It's always in a constant flow of chaos and order. You can keep someone ever before your eyes. You're able to adapt. You're able to progress. And when you're adapting to situations, boom, boom, you're ready. You're there. Now you can make the next decision. Now you can be the first person to make the decision, or you can be the person to let the next person make the next decision. But the choice is yours. The world is yours. The key word, ever living as if he were watching you. Now, at this current moment in time, I can't watch you live at all times. But these videos work nicely. Make sure that you watch the video from yesterday. 
When you go to bed, you watch this video and watch your progression. Grow yourself. All right, guys. Y'all watching? Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, drop a comment, subscribe.